to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Holding him as in a mirror, he says we are changed from one dimension of glory to the other, even as by the Spirit of God. So whilst you are seated, hearing the word, um, it is more than just your attention you are giving God. You are handing over your life and destiny to Him so that He will change, so that He will lift, so that He will redirect. The assignment of the anointing that comes through the word is to check every aspect of your life and correct anything that is inconsistent with the counsel of God. So whilst the word is coming, it is important for you to understand what God is doing behind the scenes. So some of you will get up after this word and find out that that disease and that symptom is gone and gone for good. Hallelujah. For some of you, whilst you are here hearing the word, the maker of the heavens and the earth is releasing angels to your homes, to your businesses, correcting things do you believe that hallelujah praise the name of the Lord very brief Proverbs 23 23 Proverbs 23 verse 23 I'm going to be charging our hearts tonight on a topic that I am captioned by the truth by the the truth the bible says in 23 and verse 23 of proverbs it says buy the truth and sell it not not only that is that king james if we can have kjv it says to buy the truth and then to sell it not he said and also wisdom instruction and understanding dominion in this kingdom and any destiny that desires a performance advancement and any destiny that desires to see the fullness of the life and the power of God find expression through it must understand the power of truth hallelujah the Bible here gives us a very powerful instruction he says by the truth and then he says under no circumstance should you sell it to sell it means to part ways with it when you sell a thing it means that you value what you are receiving more than what you are giving are we together now now please pay attention Jesus in Matthew chapter 13 please give it to us verse 44 gave us a very powerful parable Matthew the 13th chapter and verse 44 we're reading to 46 he said again the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field it's treasure but it was hid in a field then the bible says the which when a man had found he hid it and for joy that he goeth thereof goeth and selleth all that he had and buyeth the field look at this kind of a man the bible says there was treasure that was hidden in the field we're reading down to 46 and then the bible says that man stumbled across a treasure and for the joy that he had nothing else in his life mattered he went and sold everything to buy the field that contain that that treasure let's read to 46 now 45 again 
the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls uh-huh it says who when he had found a pearl of great price went and sold all that he had and bought it what is so valuable about this treasure that these people are willing to sell every other thing they had to buy it he says buy the truth and to sell it not listen ladies and gentlemen the reason why certain destinies seem to excel you find out that God seems to do business with certain people to a degree and proportion that is very 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 worthy of admiration it's not because God decided to isolate a few people and then to victimize others the factor that distinguishes men in this kingdom is the degree to which they have access to this truth this treasure that the Bible calls truth please pay attention dominion in this kingdom is not an impartation dominion in this kingdom is the resultant effect of the value that an individual has placed towards his pursuit for truth are we together now so that which will distinguish two people two pastors two men of God two business people any two people are distinguished in life and destiny to the degree to which they pursue and they seek truth here the Bible says buy the truth now I thought scripture would say get the truth it never said get the truth it did not even say seek the truth he uses a business terminology when it has to do with truth he says buy the truth are we together when it has to do with wisdom he says get wisdom when it has to do with other things he would say seek but now when it has to do with truth he says don't you come around the vicinity of truth without something in your hands in other words the pursuit for truth will cost you you must be you must be ready to know that when it has to do with accessing truth it is based on the law of exchange not the law of pursuit listen carefully when it has to do with accessing the truth it does not come at the instance of your seeking it alone it is a product of exchange by the truth and Jesus in the two parables that he gave every one of those people the Bible says when they found treasure or they found pearls they went and sold everything they had so don't ask where the money will come from that parable told us where the money came from the money came by prioritizing the truth above what you already had hmm. Hmm. everyone who bought that field did not have the money but because they had the hunger and the passion they were able to bring that money from something else they had buy the truth and sell it not everyone you see who has risen in this kingdom by the privilege of God's grace must be a man or woman who has placed value on the truth more than anything else the receipt for buying the truth is a life of exploits listen when you buy an electronic product they sign and they give you a receipt they don't give you a receipt over what you are buying they give you a receipt over what you have bought when you carry that receipt sometimes they may not even allow you go out of the mall until you present the receipt is that true so the bible says buy the truth don't tell me you have truth show me the receipt the life of exploits the supernatural life the invincible life is the receipt that you have bought the truth because the Bible says my son he says pay attention to my words he says incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from out of thy mouth he says keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are life not to everybody to those who find them and health to their flesh according to scripture we know that truth 
only resides in the word. The word of God is the exclusive compendium of truth. There is no other institution, no other material that sustains the rich capture of truth aside from scripture. He said, sanctify them by thy truth. Thy word is truth. Is someone learning now? There are many believers who arbitrarily desire to live a life of kingdom exploits. A life that brings glory and honor to God and brings glory and honor to them. And then they ignore and neglect truth. Then they get angry, envious, and jealous at those who have invested their life exchanging for truth. My assignment tonight is to provoke your spiritual appetite. Are we together? To exalt your passion for the things of the spirit and your pursuit for truth above and beyond any mundane pursuit. If in the next 10 minutes or thereabout I'm able to succeed in that, then we have done a good job tonight. Buy the truth and sell it not. Why do you need the truth? John chapter 8 and verse 32. John chapter 8. What is captured in truth? Why is it so expensive? And why is it so important? Hear what the Bible has to say about the truth. Please give it to us. John 8, 32. It says, and ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Do you know what that means? I shall know this police officer. And the police officer will open the door of the prison for me. Are we together? So midwifing my bondage and my liberty is that individual in this case he says if you build a relationship with the truth the truth has the power to influence your freedom listen carefully that means without the truth you are in bondage you do not know the extent of bondage you are in until the truth arrives there are many people who are in so much bondage they are not even aware it is the truth that reveals by the liberty it brings is someone learning now the truth sustains the ability to bring freedom freedom means a life that is not impeded by any factor freedom means the liberty to be able to rise to the fullness of your prophetic potential financial freedom spiritual freedom are we together freedom in terms of your influence your purpose and your destiny ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free so we have established that the truth works on the law of exchange you are not going to come and just pursue the truth arbitrarily you must be willing to trade off certain things in your life hallelujah the concept of buying as far as our economy is concerned demands that you must have currency is that true yes if you tell me you're going to buy a bottle of water i know how serious you are by verifying whether you are holding currency money are we together or whatever it is that you will use to purchase so if you stand in front of the shop or the store or the mall, all you need to do, you may not even need to introduce yourself and tell them your name. Just bring the currency to the degree needed and the product will be given to you. Hallelujah. Is someone learning? Very quickly for the sake of our time, I want to reveal five currencies. There are five spiritual currencies that we use to buy the truth anyone who lacks this currency will never be able to become the custodian and the steward of truth and that means your life will remain impeded and will remain limited if you're with me say amen, amen. when the bible says buy the truth it then means you have to know how to generate the kind of currency that is used to purchase this great treasure that the Bible calls truth. Number one, 
very quickly. The first currency that is used to buy truth is called hunger and desire. Write it down, please. You will never be able to buy the truth if you cannot generate this currency of genuine hunger and desire. Proverbs chapter 4 from verse 5 to 9. Is God helping us already? Proverbs 4, 5 to 9. 4, 5 to 9. Get wisdom, it says, get understanding. It says, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. We're reading to 9, verse 6 now. It says, forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Verse 7. It says, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. I love verse 8. Watch this. It says, exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. Verse 9. It says, she shall give to thy head an ornament of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver. But you must demonstrate desire. Desire. Proverbs 18 and verse 1. It says, through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. The currency of hunger. Men who find God. Men who find truth. Men who find the word that builds their lives and turns them into signs and wonders are people of hunger and pursuit. Someone say hunger. Say desire. When you come into the faith life and your desire is passive, anyhow, if God comes, let him come. If God blesses me, let him bless me. You will never find truth. Are we together? desire hunger go and ask every great man who is used by God today including your father and the Lord the Bishop they will tell you that the truths that have exalted them today came at the instance of this currency of hunger and desire show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the ways of jesus we want to enter your rest will you show us the ancient path will you lead us along eternal highway we want to follow the footsteps of jesus we want to enter your rest man of god you will never find power till there is hunger 